Okay, let's have a little fun with calculus. And the idea of this video is to show you that calculus uh, does not have to be that intimidating. So the title of this video is Calculus for Non-Math People. So if you um, don't think that you're capable of learning calculus, or maybe you're very intimidated by the subject, or maybe you think that you are bad at math, I have to tell you that your mindset is incorrect. Everyone, just about everyone, could learn calculus. It all uh, depends upon your desire, but you could build up to the math skills and be successful in calculus. Now, it's not to say that calculus isn't a, uh, an advanced math course. In fact, it is. But uh, we're going to see here with this little problem that anyone can, you know, get the basic idea of calculus. So if you have just a, even a basic, basic algebra background, you'll be able to understand this particular problem I'm going to go through here in a second. And even if you're just curious about calculus, you'll see uh, the mechanics here to solve this problem using calculus is really not that difficult. So let's get into it. So what is the problem? Well, if you look here, we have this little yellow curve. Okay, this curve right here. And we define that curve by this little equation right here, y equals x cubed. Okay, so this is the, uh, the description of this curve. Okay, now what we want to do is find the area underneath that curve, and it's bounded by the x-axis right here. It's this blue shaded region. We'd like to find the area of this uh, region right there. If we kind of zoom in, it kind of looks like this. Okay, there's like a little curve on top. Then it drops down and it kind of, you know, maybe looks something like that. But there is a little bit of a, a curve, okay? It's not a, uh, a straight line like this, okay? So when you're thinking about that and you're thinking about this area question, most of you um, will think back to your uh, middle school and high school years. You're like, oh, area. I remember area. Isn't that like finding the length times the width, uh, like of a rectangle or maybe a triangle? The area is equal to one half base times height. You would be correct. Okay, there's formulas for these kind of shapes. But this little crazy shape right here, we do not have a formula for. So we're going to have to use calculus. And this is one of the big um, uh, problem types that calculus solves. Very, very powerful. But you're going to see the actual mechanics of um, applying calculus to solve a problem like this doesn't have to be overly complicated. And you may actually be a, a little bit shocked to say, wow, that's it? It's that simple? Well, yes, it is. Now, for those of you out there that um, have taken calculus or maybe, maybe teach calculus, I'm going to be leaving out some technical details. So don't beat me up too hard in the comment section. Again, this is directed towards non-math people, whatever that might uh, mean. But uh, if you feel like you are a non-math person, well, then you're going to have fun with this problem. But uh, we're going to get into this in just one second. But uh, let me first quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you um, are having a difficult time with mathematics, maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough math instruction or the right type of instruction, maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, well, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades, and I really teach in a super clear and understandable way. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can certainly uh, help you get through your courses and excel. Now, if you're prepared for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam or a nursing school entrance exam. You get, um, you kind of get the picture. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. When it comes to homeschooling, I think we have the best homeschooling program uh, out there. We just actually won a big national award. We came in winners in our homeschooling program for middle and high school math. So you definitely got to check out our homeschool math courses. And if you don't have any math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video as well. But I'll tell you right now, if you expect to get great grades in math, you have to take great math notes. So start improving your notes and everything will get better for you. All right, so let's get into this. And even if you don't know any calculus, well, you're just about ready to uh, uh, learn a little bit with this video. All right, so here is the problem. We want to find the uh, area. Uh, this little blue region right there, okay? And that blue region is shaped by this yellow curve. We talked about that. And that yellow curve is described by this equation, y equals x cubed. So this is what we call a function uh, in uh, mathematics or uh, an equation. And uh, generally speaking, you can have a graphical representation of an equation like so. Okay, so right here, 
this shape, we can algebraically express it like this. So that's what that means. Now, if you look here, we, um, this blue region starts at 1 on the x-axis. So we're going this way. It starts right there. That's where that blue region uh, starts. And then we go this way, and it ends at 3. Okay, so it starts here at 1 and ends at 3. So in calculus, we have this cool little symbol. Okay, it's right there. And that means integration. All right, now technically that means you can kind of just think of it is finding the area. Now, I'm kind of oversimplifying, uh, but I think that's a pretty basic way to kind of uh, introduce this concept for non-math people, okay? So if I want to find the area, I want to integrate, okay? So I'm like, all right, I want to break out this symbol right here. That's little, that little, what we call an elongated S. Now, like the uh, letter S is like this. If you have a, a stretched out one, it's like that. So it kind of relates to this word uh, sum. I have additional videos, calculus videos like this, by the way, on my YouTube channel if you're uh, curious about some other basic calculus problems. But um, anyways, we have to break out this little integration symbol. So this means, hey, find the area underneath this curve. Okay, so this is the curve right here that I'm interested in. Find the area underneath that curve, and it's always going to be bounded by this x-axis. In other words, it's always going to have this axis as uh, kind of it's part of its boundaries. Okay, so find the area underneath this curve, and then this 1 and 3 means start at 1, okay, on the x-axis and go all the way out to 3. So this is my like my left uh, point right there, and this is my right point or starting point, end point. Uh, so that's basically that. Now this little dx here, uh, that's a little technical uh, thing that we'll kind of skip right now, but that is important as well. But for uh, this purposes, we won't really get into that. Okay, but it's not going to really uh, deter us from solving this. Okay. So anyway, so let's just review this one more time. So we're going to integrate from one. Okay, we're going to start at one. We're going to go to three. Okay, and we're going to find the area underneath the, the curve described by this x cubed. Okay, then we're going to put a little dx right there. And so this is it. This is the setup. Okay, now if you look here closely, this is calculus. This is a calculus notation and symbology. So a lot of you might be like, wow, that's pretty crazy looking. Well, you know, it, it it's intimidating. Anything's intimidating if you don't, you know, um, if you've never seen it before, if you don't understand what's going on, but let's go ahead and demystify this right now. So if we figure this out, we're actually going to find the area. All right, so let's get to it. And by the way, uh, put into the comment sections if you ever have taken calculus or if you plan to take calculus and are you intimidated by the subject or did you find it um, easier or harder than you anticipated if you have taken calculus? But I would be interested in knowing that. But here is our problem, okay? So again, we're going to integrate. Uh, we're going to start at 1, okay? Our boundaries, if you will, are 1 to 3, okay? Underneath this uh, curve, x cubed dx, okay? So again, I'm kind of, you know, skipping a, a few little technical details, but nothing that's going to harm us. All right, so what we need to do is uh, get this, uh, do this integration step, okay? And it's going to bring us down to here. So let's see how this happened. So what we have to do is follow this x cubed. So when we do an integral in calculus, there's a lot of different rules that we apply, but the rules are actually quite easy. So in this case, the rule to integrate this uh, function right here is the following. Look how easy this is, okay? It says, okay, whatever your power is, add one to it, okay? So I'm gonna add one to it. And then whatever this answer is, this, of course, is going to be 3 plus 1 is 4. Divide this whole thing by the answer. So that the answer is 4. So when I uh, integrate this here, the answer is going to be x to the 4th over 4th, or over 4, excuse me. So let's just review this one more time, okay? This, to do this integration, okay, I'm not counting these numbers right here, just to do this basic integral, uh, this right here, I got to do something with this. So the rule is, all we're going to do is add 1 to that little exponent right there. Okay, so of course that's 3 plus 1, which is 4. And then whatever the answer is, I'm going to divide by that answer, okay, which of course is 4. So that's how we get to this step, okay?
So I'm pretty sure everyone out there, um, you know, understands that, or, you know, it's not that difficult of math. So if you're like, you know, if you're saying, wow, okay, so far, so good. I understand what's going on. Well then listen, if you're with me so far, then we're going to almost be done with this problem. You might be saying, what? You might be like, that's so awesome. Well, let's go ahead and see how this finishes up. All right. So what we're going to do the, uh, with the result of this X to the fourth uh, over four, let me get that little happy face or screaming face out of the way, is we're going to um, set up an expression where we're going to subtract uh, this X to the fourth uh, by itself. Okay, so let me just show you. This is the way you do all these calculus problems. So it's X to the fourth over four minus X to the fourth over four. So whatever the result of doing that integral is, you're going to take that thing and you're going to subtract it from itself. Okay, now you can see right here, this is what I have. So now we're actually going to compute the area. Now let's go back to our problem, okay? And remember, we were going to start from 1 and go to 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this top number right here, and we're going to plug in for this x, okay, right there, x is equal to 3. So we're going to substitute this x here for 3, and then... We're going to use this number right here, okay, and we're going to substitute this x for 1, okay. We're going to plug in 1 for this uh, x right there, and when we plug this in and actually do the, uh, the arithmetic, we will actually uh, get the area, okay. So if you understand that, let's just review this one more time. So again, here is our result of doing our integral. We're going to uh, subtract it from itself. Uh, that's just the setup, and then right here, we're going to plug in that top number, and then right here, we're going to plug in that bottom number. Okay, so if you're with me so far, let's go ahead and finish this up. This is not that difficult. All right, so right here, okay, remember, we're going to be plugging in uh, x for uh, x is equal to 3 right there. Here, this is x is equal to 1. Remember, this is uh, our integral. Let me just write it right here. 1, 2, 3, x cubed dx. So again, I'm just going to be redundant. X is 3 right there, and X is 1 right there. So you can see I'm plugging in 3. So we have 3 to the 4th over 4 minus 1 to the 4th over 4. So what is 3 to the 4th power? Well, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you uh, remember your basic multiplication, that is 81, or 9 times 9. So we're going to end up with uh, 81 over 4, and then 1 to the 4th power is simply just 1. 1 times itself 4 times is just going to be 1. So we end up with 81 over 4 minus 1 over 4. Okay, these fractions have the same denominator, so I could just simply subtract the numerators. So 81 minus 1 is 80 over 4. Okay, 80 divided by 4 is 20. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is the area. Okay, this is the area. And you might be saying, what? That's the area? Yes, that's that's it. Okay, there's no more to do with this problem. Okay, so this region right there, bounded from 1, 2, 3, underneath this curve is 20 uh, square units, whatever those units might be. And, of course, this was, this was our setup with this uh, integral um, uh, notation 1 to 3 with this function dx. This is a pretty classic type of calculus problem, okay? So if you're like, you know, looking at this and you're saying, well, I was expecting something more, you know, complex. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. This is it. Okay, so if you can understand this, you can understand calculus. Now, if you like this stuff, I just want to go ahead and give you a nice little smiley face for just being engaged. And, uh, you know, that's excellent. My whole thing uh, here is to get you excited about taking calculus. Maybe you need to be starting to think, hmm, let's just go to write this out. Hmm, I'm going to try to write it out like this. Maybe I can pass this course or maybe I can excel. Maybe I'm better in math than I think. So, you know, um, and generally speaking, 99% of those of you who think that or you are non-math people, I'm telling you right now, you are uh, grossly underestimating your ability. Okay, um, so shift your mindset, get excited about math. If you want to major in something that involves mathematics, don't don't let the math uh, deter you. I've seen that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, from time to time again, through so many years where people shy away from particular degrees or majors or careers 
because um, you know they're intimidated by the math. Do not let math stop you. And if you need help, I can help you out. So if you like this little video, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, not calculus, and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But my best math help will always be with my math help program. Okay, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.